I dig, I dig, I dig in the day. Shovel, 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 too. I got my spade, I got my hole, I got my rig. G'day and welcome to the Garden Gurus. I'm Trevor Cochran. We have got a sensational spring series lined up for you and I'm very, very excited about it. A bit later on, we're going to take you into this garden. It's called the Spirit Garden. It's located in South Korea and it is absolutely phenomenal. You are going to love it. But first, let's get on with today's show. Digging around. If you've tried growing veggies before with not much success, now is the perfect time to try again. But this time, make sure you've got a small and mighty army on your side to get the bumper harvest you're looking for. And this is the secret to a successful veggie garden. You see, while it's obvious up here that things are happy and healthy, it's what's happening down here in the soil that plays a crucial role in how productive your edible garden's going to be. You can spot a good soil by getting down and dirty with it. A healthy soil will be sweet smelling, rich in colour and friable. Veggies will love a soil that is free draining yet robust enough to hold just the right amount of moisture and nutrients for sustained growth. In fact, nutrient supply to veggies is the key to their health and yours. Traditional MPK fertilisers can be great short term, but they can have a negative impact on your soil's health if they aren't used correctly. Even throwing around a controlled release plant food isn't going to improve your soil health. For that, you need microscopic help. This tiny army of microbes are some of the hardest workers in any productive garden because they turn minerals into soluble plant food ready to boost your plant's overall health. So how do you add microbes and a complex mix of macro and micronutrients to your soil? With this, it's a clever plant and soil food from an Aussie company and it's made right here in Australia. This stuff is a rich source of 24 essential soil microbes. In fact, the easiest way of guaranteeing a thriving population of microbes is to use Traforte M vegetable and herb when you're planting out. These little prills are a controlled release fertiliser that will deliver over 60 essential minerals evenly to your plant's root system over a four to six month period, which is brilliant for the environment too. You know, microbes are important for breaking down organic matter, converting nutrients into plant available form. They also improve the overall soil structure. Some microbes even take nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into food for your plants. Apply 20 to 40 grams. That's a little less than a handful around the base of your plants as they mature. An application just as you start to see flowers forming on tomatoes, for example, will ensure these prize crops receive the sufficient nutrients it needs to match the volume of fruit it's producing. Now, Traforte is not easily found at the moment, but it is in good specialist garden centres, and it's worthwhile seeking out so you can turn your veggie garden fortunes around. A spa can be a great place to unwind and relax but it can also be a little bit of a headache if you don't maintain it properly. And considering it's a major investment, it's worth looking after. Because a spa is a warm water environment, there are a couple of key things you will need to stay on top of every week to keep the water healthy and in balance, free from nasty microbes and bacteria and ready to use when you are. Firstly, it's all about water balance. If you get that right, your skin will feel better and any sanitizers that you put into the water will actually work. So without going into a full chemistry lesson, it's all about getting your pH and your alkalinity right. So you can use one of these test strip kits. You basically just take a strip from the packet, dip it in the pool, and then that'll change colours and you compare that to the colours on the back of the packet. And that'll basically tell you what to do. But to simplify it even further, download the Poolworks app onto your phone, you punch in the colours from the strip and the app will tell you exactly what to put in the pool. Then it's just a matter of keeping the water clean and bacteria free with a regular dose of sanitizer like chlorine, bromine or peroxide. Of course, cleaning the cartridge filter regularly is also extremely important for a healthy spa, as is a regular vacuum, brush and shock treatment after to eliminate natural body oils, lotions and sunscreens. If you've got a spa but you can't find the time to keep up with the maintenance or you just need some help getting it back on track, why not get a professional from Poolworks to do it for you? That way you'll have more time to enjoy the spa with your family and friends or even that someone special. And if you want to take it to the next level, throw in some of these essential oils. That way your stress will just disappear. 
Did you know that you can have a camellia in flower in your garden for up to nine months of the year? So you start the autumn season with the beautiful Sasanqua camellias. Throw in a few winter spring flowering japonicas, some reticulatas and a myriad of hybrids and all of a sudden you've got three seasons of spectacular colour. For more beautiful planting ideas, join us after the break here on The Garden Gurus. The winter edition of The Garden Guru magazine was an absolute sellout. Thank you so much for your support. And the good news is the spring edition is just about to arrive in stores and it's packed full of some brilliant stories. Check these out. We showcase the stunning Irish garden show Bloom and we've crowned it the best in the world. We've got some sensational new release plants. There's the Spring Herb Delights with Melissa King and Kim shows us the beautiful Adelaide Botanical Gardens. The Garden Guru magazine is available through leading news agents right across the country. And of course, it's available in Bunning stores everywhere. There are some sensational new trends sweeping the garden world at the moment. This is one of them. These are called string planters and they look brilliant hanging over your head. But another one that is without doubt the most popular is the living wall. You can't go past this concept, but the biggest problem with it is it's so expensive. Professional systems can cost you well over two and a half thousand dollars per square metre. Well, that was until this brand new system has just been introduced. Holman Industries has just introduced a new modern vertical kit system that can be installed in just 30 minutes. It's called appropriately Green Wall. Each kit costs under $100 and is brilliantly designed with its own easy to install irrigation system built in. To install the system you simply take the bracket, make sure it's level and then simply drill into the wall with a 6.5mm masonry bit. The Green Wall unit simply clips onto the bracket. This has to be the best innovation of the whole thing when it comes to this system. There are eight pots per tray. Now, should one plant go off, it would spoil the whole lot. But when they can be removed like this, well, you can replace them with something that's fresh. It keeps the whole thing looking sensational. I believe the biggest trick to success with this system is using a special potting mix. Coco peat has been used by home gardeners as a potting mix for many years because of its highly absorbent nature, meaning it keeps moisture around the roots longer. You have to activate it with microbes and provide nutrient, and adding Troforte to the expanded cocoa peat is vitally important. Plant your seedlings or herbs straight into this mix in each pot, and then water them in with sea salt to get them settled and avoid transplant shock. Then simply clip each pot onto the frame. Each module locks into another one, and you can go up, you can go across, they actually then clip in and the water will pass through. So you only need to plug in one point and you can water a whole area. You could cover a whole wall using this system. The watering system is simply a hose fitting plugged in to the end of one of the units. The water flows through all of the ends and this then feeds the drippers set above each pot to deliver precise amounts of water to each plant. The watering system can be run automatically as well. Grab a Holman's Misting System Tap Timer as this will allow you to set its start and run times down to exact minutes, even seconds. Now, if you want to get your hands on the Green Wall System from Holman's, there's only one place you'll be able to find it. It's in your local Bunnings store. They've got it exclusively. What a brilliant idea. Now if you're looking for the perfect hedging or border plant, then this one ticks all of the boxes. This little beauty goes by the name of Potosporum golf ball. And when I'm looking at a hedge or border plant, I always look for particular attributes. For a start, you don't necessarily want it to take ages for that hedge to fill out. So this one's a really good vigorous grower, but it also stays nice and compact. The natural shape of the plant is fantastic too. It has a lovely rounded shape to around 80 centimetres tall and 80 centimetres wide, hence the name golf ball. Best of all, it maintains this shape with no trimming or pruning. It also branches freely right from the base, so you get foliage all the way down to the ground, which I think is really important in a hedge. No ugly bare legs. And the foliage looks good year round. It's a lovely bright minty green and very glossy. It displays small, rather inconspicuous, sort of chocolatey purple flowers in late spring and early summer. Now cultivation wise, this is an easy plant to grow, so you can plant it in full sun or part shade. Although if you live in a hot dry area, I'd plant it in part shade. And once it's established, it can withstand periods of drought. Low maintenance, it would look fantastic as a specimen shrub or a decorative feature in a pot, but really you can't get a better hedging plant than this. 
When mowing, it's a good idea to start at the back and work your way forward. That way you won't introduce any weed seeds from your nature strip or verge out the back. And afterwards, don't forget to give the mower a good wash down. After the break, more great garden advice from the Garden Gurus. How good would it be to have a consistently healthy pool? Imagine having an energy efficient pump, a robotic cleaner, a brand new sand filter and a professional to install it all. And while we're dreaming, imagine having a year's worth of maintenance from Poolworks. Joe. Well, it doesn't have to be a dream at all. All this could be yours by simply going to the Garden Guru's website and telling us in 25 words or less what makes you a healthy pool person. Then this healthy pool prize pack worth 6,000 bucks could be yours thanks to our friends at Poolworks. The team will be sharing lots of tips with you this spring on ways to get the best results out of your garden. And if the truth be known, just about every single story is going to start in one place. It's down here in the soil. You see, if you get your soil right, well, the results you'll get in your garden are incredible. Now, Chloe Thompson has already shared her tips on getting great results in a veggie garden. And I've got to tell you, I agree with her 100%. It's getting the soil right that's really going to make the difference to the results you get with your crop. This garden bed, for all intent, looks incredibly healthy, but have a look at the soil. It's basically sand. So how are these plants booming along? Well, this was a test trial area for a clay soil experiment I'd done, and this was the worst performing area. Now, this was basically because the sand itself was lacking nutrients and real life. So I had to boost it, and I did it with this stuff, and it's changed everything. Adding microbes and a complex nutritional base makes the world of difference. That's exactly what this is. Trefort AM is a complex fertiliser encrusted with between 24 and 30 beneficial soil microbes. Now, when you apply it to your garden, it not only feeds the microbes and increases the microbe population, more importantly, it feeds the soil, which feeds your plants the way Mother Nature intended it all to work. You'll only find Troforte M at specialist garden centres. It tends to be where it's available. So it might be worthwhile checking out the Troforte website to find out where your nearest one is. If you're looking for a book that combines the best of growing edibles along with sensational mouth-watering recipes, then Delish from Garden to Table is just for you. Packed with loads of great information on how to grow everything from veggies to berries to tropical fruit, Delish from Garden to Table successfully guides you every step of the way. The recipes are so easy to follow, even for a guy who can burn water. Learn how to create mandarin glazed spare ribs, cherry jam and flaming figs. Well apart from being a quality book, the most astounding thing about Delish from Garden to Table is its price. At $16.95 plus postage, you won't find a better buy anywhere. So secure yours now by jumping online. Better be quick. When it comes to great gardens, we've visited some absolute beauties over the years. And the spectacular Bouchard Gardens on Vancouver Island is one of those places that you visit and just fall in love with. The gardens that were created here are simply breathtaking and well worth a visit as part of a trip of a lifetime, one you will never forget, to Canada. To get there you'll need to travel with the experts who know Canada best, Scenic Tours, who are also our series sponsor. Scenic Tours are designed to provide luxury travel with every option in a tour that's flexible and allows you to see what you want to see along the journey. It's a 22-day tour of the Rockies, West Coast and an Alaskan cruise, 14 nights on land and 7 nights cruising. It takes in Vancouver and then heads out on the Rocky Mountaineer train to Banff, Lake Louise, Jasper, Sun Peaks and Whistler before returning to Vancouver Island and British Columbia's capital city, Victoria. The tour then cruises in luxury up to Skagway and Glacier Bay in Alaska opening up spectacular scenery. Canada is just one of those places that dazzles every day and waking up in the spectacular Rocky Mountain towns of Banff, Whistler and Lake Louise, staying in the world-renowned Fairmont hotels is simply sublime. 
These uniquely Canadian towns located high in the Rocky Mountains are considered some of the most beautiful in the world. A trip with Scenic is all-inclusive. All activities like visiting Bouchard Gardens and sightseeing, even tipping is included. The tours are set up so you can go at a leisurely pace and you have freedom to tailor your tour to add extra experiences to suit exactly what you want to do. For viewers, we have a special offer. Book now and you'll fly free to Canada, just pay taxes, and Scenic will also give you a free night's accommodation before or after your tour. Visit scenictours.com.au or call 1300 Scenic. That's 1300 723 642. 1300 723 642. Stay with us after the break, Trevor visits one of South Korea's most famous gardens. If you'd like to get your hands on some of the great plants in the Touch of Class collection, check out the Touch of Class Facebook page. Enter their competition and you could be taking home a spring pack of 10 plants chosen for you by the experts. Understanding the what, where, when and how of growing in pots have coined the new term containerology. And throughout this series, I'm going to be showing you some simple tips on how you can become an expert and adventurous containerologist. I love the fragrance and freshness of homegrown herbs in my cooking, and it makes sense to have them growing in easy reach of the kitchen. But a lone parsley plant stuck in a pot at your back door is hardly embracing the containerology philosophy. So let's get a bit creative and put together some pots you can be proud of. Successfully growing in pots starts with a good foundation of the perfect pot and top quality potting mix. To get the most out of these self-watering pots, make sure you push the potting mix down into these cones within the water well to allow your plants to take up as much water as they need to grow productively. What herbs you select should depend on your tastes and cooking styles. By grouping your herbs according to their uses, you can easily find everything you need for a dish in the one place or have the pot right on hand in the kitchen while you're cooking. I know a lot of people are often put off from bringing their potted herb gardens indoors because of the worry about water spilling everywhere or potting mix making a mess. But these clever self-watering pots from Decor solve all those problems with this hidden water well. You could even grow them straight on your windowsill. Of course, once you finish planting, settle in your new herbs with a dose of power feed and water for the first four to five days from the top. Then once the roots of your new plants have established, you can water by filling up the water well through this hole. Make sure your herbs are in full sun, although any of the mints will tolerate part shade. Regular picking will promote lush growth, as will a dose of liquid fertiliser straight into the water well once every few weeks. What about this pot as an idea for a tea party? Guests can pick the leaves themselves and create their own fresh tea combination. Fancy a cup of stevia and lemon balm tea, or perhaps some lemongrass and mint. You can even use the pot as a centrepiece to really impress your guests. Freshness and deliciousness at your fingertips. Welcome to one of the most remarkable gardens I've ever filmed in. Now this is called the Spirit Garden. It was created by Sung Bum Yung, and I've got to tell you, it is absolutely remarkable. It's a Bunjai garden. Bunjai is the same as bonsai is to Japanese in South Korea, but this is an ancient art form and the collection he has here is just spectacular. So we're going to show you around. Over the years, world leaders have travelled here to see for themselves the remarkable achievement this humble man has made here on what was once barren volcanic ground. His story is even more remarkable when you know that he was once a city dweller in the massive South Korean capital of Seoul. But one day he stood up and said, I love the art of Bunjai with a passion and will do something about it. He left the city and his family to find the right place to start building his dream. It was here on the subtropical and incredibly beautiful island of Jeju off the southern tip of the Korean peninsula. How many bonsai have you got here in all the garden? We have got about 1,500 and 500 in the making, so I would say there are around 2,000. This is a beautiful bonsai. How old? How old is this? This fine tree is about 200 years old and was grafted 
when it was a little tree. The bunjai are carefully placed in strategic locations all throughout the garden. And there's a couple of varieties that really stand out, like the elm here and also quince, both trees that make spectacular bunjai. Bunjai are created through root containment, pruning and trunk and branch manipulation using copper wires. This allows the artist to shape the angle of a branch to twist a trunk or to pull down lateral branches to mimic the effect of a spreading canopy. Whilst there are hundreds of different varieties on show here, the pines and conifers stand out as a group of plants that produce the best results when used in a bunjai style garden. Would you like to create your own bunjai at home? Well, it's as easy as following these steps. When you see bonsai trees, you have to be crazy about it first of all. And you need your family support. Families need to do this together. You also need the environment to grow these trees. Sunshine, wind, this kind of good environment for growing trees. More importantly, you should see a lot to learn and put your effort endlessly. You should study if you want to learn. As time passes, you will have piercing eyes to tell good trees. Not all the trees can become good bonsai. You will need to grow your ability to tell whether it is a good bonsai to be or not. You know, the name Spirit Garden aptly describes what is truly a spiritual experience. And spending time in this garden demonstrates to me just what can be achieved when you've got the passion and the conviction in your beliefs. How's this for spectacular? It's a 1200 year old juniper that was transported to this garden from China. How did we go this week? Did you like our first show of this series? We'd love to know what you think, so why don't you become our friend on Facebook? You can ask us questions, give us your feedback, or even ask us about stories that you'd like to see us do on the show. Next week, we're heading to Ireland and we'll take you to an amazing garden exhibition called Bloom. It's not as highbrow as Chelsea, but my goodness, the designers are the best in Europe and have some stunning ideas you can actually implement in your own garden at home without having to spend an absolute fortune. It's packed full of heaps of local gardening advice and of course we have some terrific competitions as well. I'm Trevor Cochran, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week for The Garden Gurus.